Good morning, friends. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a superhero story time. Did you know this week we celebrated National Superhero Day? We did. So we are doing a superhero story time today. And before we get started, I want to get us up and moving. It's a beautiful morning. And I'm glad you're here with us for story time, even though it is a beautiful morning, and I hope you can get out and enjoy it um, when we are all done. But let's get up and get moving a little bit so we can be ready for a story. I'm going to just get myself situated here so that we can move together this morning. All right, and this is a song that you probably know from um, an, another version, but this is going to be a superhero version. So, pretend you're a superhero, and we are going to do superhero, superhero, turn around. Superhero, superhero, touch the ground. Superhero, superhero, put on your suit. Put on your suit. Superhero, superhero, put on your boots. Superhero, superhero, turn around. Superhero, superhero, touch the ground. Superhero, superhero, jump up high. Superhero, superhero, fly, fly, fly. Superhero, superhero, put on your mask. Superhero, superhero, put on your cape. Superhero, superhero, jump up high. Superhero, superhero, fly, fly, fly. Can you fly back to your story spot with me? Keep on flying. And come in for a landing and ready to listen and read. We're going to start with a story about being a super. I just want to be super. And this story is by Andrew Katz, and it's illustrated by Tony Luzano. And it is published by Crack Boom. I just want to be super. One morning, Jaguar, that's the kitty, turn, trotted in, carrying something between his teeth. What does Jaguar carry? That's right, a superhero mask. Who do you think the superhero mask is for? The mask didn't look like much, but Nino tried it on anyway. Woohoo! Look what I can do! Must be a powerful mask. Super, Papa said. Now please put your dishes in the sink. Nino grumbled. He didn't want to put his dishes in the sink. But he did it. Super style. He used his powers. <clears throat> hey, Nini, Liza said. Want to make a glitter painting? Yeah. Please get dressed before you start playing, sweet boy, Mama said. Nino groaned. Getting ready always took forever. So he shazammed into his shirt and shorts. Gluing and sprinkling, Nino and Liza made the glitteriest painting ever. And 
who is always there with him. Jaguar, his sidekick. Anyone want to pick vegetables? Mama said. I do. And in a flash, Nino was out the door. That's enough tomatoes, sweetie. We can't eat that many. I can eat that many, Nino hollered. He hurled a tomato all the way to Hawaii. Then he sat for a while by a tree. Whew, look at that tomato. All the way to Hawaii. For lunch, Papa made the world's biggest sandwich. It was no match for Nino. Chop. During his nap, Nino turned himself invisible under the blankets. When he opened his eyes again, his superpowers were recharged. I can lift the couch. Nino, I'm drying. I can break through this wall. Probably not a good idea, buddy, Papa said. Nino stomped his foot. The house shook. Why not? Because the ceiling could fall down. You're not letting me be super. How about we all be super in the park, Mama said. Woohoo, Nino shouted. Let's go, go, go. Along the path, Nino picked up treasure after treasure. At the park, he booted the soccer ball with Liza. Then he spotted a gigantic rock. Look, I can throw this rock. No, thank you, Nino, Papa said. Why not? You're a super kid, so you need to be super careful. A rock could hurt somebody. I just want to be super, Nino roared. He blasted into outer space, raced the rocket ship all the way to Mars, drank hot cocoa with an alien, and wandered through an asteroid field. Suddenly, from across the galaxy, he heard a cry. Meow. Who's calling for him? That's right, Jaguar. A monster had snatched Jaguar. The monster was big. Can you see who the monster is? But who's coming? Who's going to save the day? It's right. But Nino was super. He wrestled the monster with all his might until Jaguar was free. The monster sighed. Now I have no one to play with. Nino looked closely at the monster. Didn't seem so bad after all. It even seemed kind of Super. You can still play with Jaguar, Nino said. You just have to be super gentle with him. He's only little. How do I be super gentle? Like this. <laughs> wow, the monster whispered. Hey, next time you go to Mars, could you take me along? I've always wanted to meet an alien. Nino smiled. Sure. The monster raised its arms and shook them all about. Woo-hoo! Nino played outside for the rest of the day. He shared his treasures with his new friend. He fed Jaguar supper. <clears throat> then he sat super quietly as Mama read a story. Nino leaped into bed in a single bound. Papa pulled up the covers. How was your day, buddy? As Jaguar curled up beside him, Nino whispered, It was super. How are you going to feel super today? I hope you are able to get outside and be super today. Now, not all of our superheroes have powers, do they? 
we have heroes all around us in our community every day. And before we read a book about some of those heroes, I would like to sing a little bit of a song. It's called Hooray for Helpers. And one of the things that I learned a long time ago from somebody I really admire was that when things are scary, we should look for the helpers. And these are the people you can look for in your neighborhood, and in, our, and in our town, and in our community. The doctors keep us well, the doctors keep us well. Hooray for helpers in our town, the doctors keep us well. The postman brings the mail, the postman brings the mail. Hooray for helpers in our town, the postman brings the mail. The grocers sell us food, the grocers sell us food. Hooray for helpers in our town, the grocers sell us food. The teachers help us learn, the teachers help us learn. Hooray for helpers in our town, the teachers help us learn. The firemen put out fires, the firemen put out fires. Hooray for helpers in our town, the firemen put out fires. The police help keep us safe, the police help keep us safe. Hooray for helpers in our town, the fire, the police keep us safe. We all, what other helpers do we have in our town that help us and keep us safe or make it so that we can have a comfortable life? Can you think of some other helpers that you would like to sing about? Let's see if this book called Hooray for Our Heroes can help us think of some other helpers in our town. <clears throat> Hooray for Helpers by Sarah Elby, illustrated by Tom Brannon, and this is published by Random House. And I think you will recognize a lot of these characters if you are a Sesame Street fan. I'm going to move, this is a small book, so I'm going to move us a little bit closer here. <laughs> it might help us. Hello there, everybody. It is I, your furry superhero pal, Super Grover. Today, I am going to tell you what the word hero means. A hero is someone who you see in comic books and cartoons. Heroes are make-believe. This hero lived a long time ago, Big Bird. Are there any heroes still around today? Sure, Elmo. I'll bet we can find some right here in our neighborhood. Let's go look. First of all, a hero has a special uniform similar to the outfit that I am wearing, with a cape on the back and a letter on the chest. I do not see anyone else wearing a hero uniform. Do you? My hero is my uncle. He's a police officer. He helps keep the people in my neighborhood safe. And of course, Everyone knows that heroes have very large muscles and are very strong. No one around here is especially strong. Firefighters are my heroes. They rescue people who are in trouble and they put the safety of others first. So our friend Grover is telling us all about superheroes that we read about in stories and comic books, right? That have powers. But Big Bird and Elmo and the rest of the gang are finding heroes in our town. Heroes move with lightning speed. No one around here can do that. I think ambulance workers are heroes. Look how fast they move to help people all the time. Sometimes people that work in ambulances or in help people in emergencies are called EMTs. Emergency medical technicians. So we could have sang about EMTs in our helper song. Of course, heroes must also be able to fly. Aside from yours, truly, no one around here can do that. Help! Helicopter rescue teams are heroes. 
They fly in to help with difficult rescues. Ah, uh, excuse me. Can I get a little help here? <gasps> Grover is stuck. And heroes must be able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. My hero is a great basketball player. Boy, can she jump high. And she also works with kids in her community, coaching their basketball teams. Gee, that's great. Maybe she could teach us too, Big Bird. Coaches are helpers. Heroes are famous. They are never the people that we see walking around in our neighborhoods. My best friend is my hero. He taught me how to ride a bike. How would you know a hero if you saw one? That is a very good question, and I, Grover, will answer it for you. For starters, heroes definitely do not wear glasses. Do you know any heroes? Say, sure, our science teacher is our hero. She really loves science, and it's fun learning from her. And heroes do not just sit around waiting for things to happen. The lifeguard is my hero. He makes sure everyone stays safe when they are swimming. Heroes rescue people who need help. I do not see anyone around here being rescued. Do you? Help! My wife is having a baby. Thanks for coming to the rescue, doctor. You and your staff are all my heroes. Congratulations. It's twins. Heroes are people we look up to. My brother is my hero. He plays baseball with me and helps me with my homework. I hope I'll be just like him when I get bigger. Heroes protect and defend. You're a hero! Hooray for Henry! Good defense today, honey. Thanks, Mommy. You're not just my coach. You're my hero, too. You saved the game. I hope that now you understand what it means to be a hero. Thank you. Gee, Big Bird, there are heroes everywhere you look. You're right, Elmo. We have heroes all around us. Everyone can be a hero to someone. Who are your heroes? Maybe your librarian? Maybe not. Maybe they're just a helper that shares stories with you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Let's get our five finger superheroes ready, and we are going to do a counting rhyme. Five superheroes ready to fly. Here comes the villain. Stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off he flies, up, up, and away. Four superheroes ready to fly. Here comes the villain. Stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off he flies, up, up, and away. Three superheroes ready to fly. Here comes the villain. Stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off she flies, up, up, and away. Two superheroes, ready to fly. Here comes the villain, stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off they fly, up, up, and away. One superhero, ready to fly. Here comes the villain, stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off she flies, up, up and away. All the superheroes are flown away. I have one more story to share with you today. It's called A Little Chicken. And some of us want to be heroes, but we might be a little bit afraid. And sometimes the bravest people 
are the ones that are a little bit afraid, but they do things anyway. So you can be brave and afraid at the very same time. A Little Chicken by Tammy Sauer, illustrated by Dan Taylor, and published by Sterling Children's Books. Dot was a little chicken, who, let's face it, was a little chicken. She was scared of lots of things. Wolves, bears, the occasional lawn ornament. Dot tried to be brave. She just wasn't. One day, while adding new safety features to the coop, Dot accidentally bumped a soon-to-be sibling. The egg rolled out of the coop and down, down, down the hill. Dot gulped. She knew this wouldn't be over easy. Then Dot flapped after that egg. Ah, ah, she just about grabbed it when... Cluck, cluck. No luck. Dot sprang after that egg. Eee! She almost had it when... Cluck, cluck. No luck. Dot scrambled after that egg. Oh! Oh, oh, she was this close when, snap, the egg bounced, bounced, bounced into the deep, dark woods. Dot, Dot's tail feathers shook, but this was no time to be a little chicken. Dot fluttered past one stunned wolf, two startled bears, and three very questionable lawn ornaments. And Dot caught that egg. Dot had a baby sister. She also had a fan club. These days, Dot's still scared of lots of things, but that's okay. Sometimes a big hero is just a little chicken. Thanks for joining us for story time today. Um, we have a special superhero um, make a superhero kit on the grab and go cart. If you'd like to pick one up, there are directions in there for how to make a superhero. Mine is missing his face yet. I haven't made that yet, but um, it's a fun little pipe cleaner activity with some straws that we've cut up and some pony beads. And then they're super cool because of the pipe cleaners. You can position them and make them fly and give them capes and maybe some crazy long green hair. No, I just haven't cut those off yet. <laughs> but there is enough that you can make a big superhero and a mini superhero in your kit. So pick those up from the grab and go cart um, if you would like a little project to do with superheroes. Exciting news! Next month is May, so next week on Friday. Um, May means in-person outdoor programs with the Ellsworth Public Library. Most of them will be in person. Some will still be virtual, but we're going to try to move to outdoor programs. Um, you'll have to kind of keep track of 
the weather and we will put announcements on our Facebook page um, if we have to cancel anything or if we are going to move back online. If it's really rainy next Friday we'll be on Facebook again but we're hoping that won't be the case and we can see you in person at East End Park. We will be asking those of you that attend that you have a mask with you so that when we aren't able to distance um, that we can put mask on to keep everybody safe. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to keep um, distance so we can see each other's smiles and um, participate um, outdoors that way. Um, we also have next Saturday, uh, which I think is May 8th, we have a special event here. Um, in, it's actually in River Falls, but I'm hoping you'll take the morning and come join us at the Grow to Share Garden, which is in Hoffman Park here in River Falls. If you keep going into the park and go past the ball field and keep going straight, the garden is behind the ball field um, here in River Falls. Um, and I hope you'll um, take the little drive and come join us for stories. And then we're going to do some um, learn about the Grow to Share Garden and do a little bit of gardening with kids. Um, so we're looking forward to that event and that is also in person. Um, but please bring a mask for when we can't distance. Um, our May calendar is out on the grab and go cart as well. So if you um, stop in to pick up one of our superhero kits, um, you can grab a new calendar and see what else we have going on. Lego is back this month. It'll just be in the park. We have art in the park coming up on the 15th. So lots of exciting things planned and I can't wait to see all of your faces. Um, big news is happening with the library building project. You can always keep up with that by visiting our website or the Friends of the Ellsworth Public Library. Um, and I have to say hello to my friends at Mitchell's in-home daycare. I just saw your comment come through now. Um, so thank you for joining us today. I will see you hopefully at East End Park at 10 o'clock next week. Have a super day and a super weekend and find lots of ways to be super because I know you already are. Bye.